Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a different type of video. I'm going to be taking you with me to HomeSense and Marshalls. Um, I've been in a really big rut lately when it comes to creativity and being really inspired by the pictures that I take for Instagram. And so I wanted to spice up my like little prop area of how I take pictures because my pictures are pretty simple and I've been loving other Instagram accounts that incorporate more jewelry and incorporate like a bunch of different things in their photos. And so I've been inspired to kind of go out to HomeSense and just to check out to see what they have. I'm so excited to show you guys all the things that I got. It was a really good trip to HomeSense. I usually don't have much time in there, but I took my time. I went through every aisle once, maybe even twice, and I really made sure that I went through everything to make sure that I got all of the good stuff. Some of the good stuff that I got was on sale, and if you guys don't know, their sale section is at the end of the aisle, that little um, that little section there and some of the stuff could be broken it could be missing something but it's on a huge discount and that's the reason why I love it because some of these things are really nice pieces for like half off or whatever it is so I'm excited to show you guys what I got um, it's starting to rain so I'm gonna run into Marshall's and see what they have there and then I'll do like a little haul for you guys My goodness you guys I had the best luck in there today at both places at Marshall's and at HomeSense I don't know what it is but they just like it they were awesome I got some stuff at Marshall's as well I feel like I should show you guys right now what I got okay we're gonna do a haul the first thing that I got at HomeSense was probably my favorite thing that I got at HomeSense and it was on sale and this is what it is. This is a little jewelry box. It's marble. This is what it looks like. It does have a little chip right there. And that's why it was on sale. But I mean, you honestly can't tell. And this is how it opens. It like slides open like this. So this would be so gorgeous in photos with like hoops in there or like a dainty necklace. Oh, I'm so excited for this. This was $9 originally it was 20 so I'm so this is probably my favorite find at home sense I think okay so also at home sense I found this brick of marble it's six dollars 
I couldn't believe it. If you guys know why this ridge is here, let me know. And then I got a picture frame, which is nothing to do with um, my pictures or anything like that. This is, so it's a magnetic. So the pink background is actually what I wanted. And then you just slide it on like that. I have two Polaroids on my desk right now that don't have any frames or anything keeping them intact. So I thought that having them side by side here would look super cute. And then this is um, $8. This is the last thing I got at HomeSense. This is a vase and it's just so gorgeous. I can imagine like some eucalyptus out here and it's just so simple yet pretty. And this was only $3. Like, hello, you can't go wrong with this. It's so cute. Moving on to Marshalls, what I got there, I got two things. So one of the things that I got at Marshalls was this bowl. And I really liked it because it's a shallow bowl. It's very wide around here. So when I place products in here, I can easily take some images of them. And this is like the ridging on the outside. The detail is really pretty. And this was only $5. Like this is Marshall's on a bargain right here. And then probably my favorite item that I got at Marshall's, probably my favorite item of the day, tying with that little jewelry thing is is this guy right here okay is this mirror right here it's black i wanted to add more contrast to my pictures right now the contrast that i have is really just the color and white um, so i wanted to add some black detail in there and i thought that this is so gorgeous and i can put my products in here as well and then I can also oh my favorite thing that people have been doing lately is like angling it down you can see my little bear in there but angling the mirror down so that you see the product from the front and from the back I think it's like a genius idea so this was probably one of my favorite pieces and this was $17 so super cute Overall, I spent under $50 and I think that I got some amazing pieces to style my pictures and I'm just so excited to start taking pictures again because I love these items. I'm home and this is what my desk looks like right now and I'm kind of... It's too cluttered, there's too much going on and I really want to take the stuff that I bought and redo it obviously so um i'm going to clear off my desk and then kind of put everything back together i'm not really going to touch the shelves up top these are the polaroids that i'm going to put in that frame that i bought um but other than that i'm pretty much going to leave the top there and then just change the bottom a little bit so i'm going to check in after with you guys after i've done it show you what i've done Okay guys, so this is the final look after I'm done reorganizing everything. As you can see, this is the mirror that I put. I put my perfume, a lip gloss, a crystal, and um, I thought it was so cool to put these hoops on here like this because they fit perfectly. And then I have my rings back there and it just looks so beautiful and it works so well. This is by far my favorite piece that I bought. Um, and then I have this candle over here, which I didn't buy. Um, I just love the scent of it. It is coconut and mango. Um, and this is the $5 bowl that I got. Uh, I'm really happy I picked this up. This, I wasn't too sure what I was gonna do with it. It was kind of gonna be like a gathering spot for all products. And I like the way it looks because now all the products are sectioned in the bowl and they're not spread out everywhere in little cups. Um, so I love the way this turned out. I have all my lip balms, my perfume, roller balls, my <laughs> memory sticks, um, and I even have like little pins and stuff in here. So this is a great collection of everything I need. And then moving over here, oh, by the way, I haven't taken off any stickers yet. That's why you can see this here. This, in here I put my tiny little perfumes and then some hoops in there as well. I will take off the sticker in a bit, but I just push that little imperfection to the back and it's all good. And then these are the two Polaroids that I was talking to you guys about. They fit in here perfectly. The only thing is that this one is actually from a Polaroid camera, so this part right here is a little bit thicker so as you can see the magnet doesn't completely shut so I have to be careful with that but other than that I feel like it looks great I tried it both horizontal and vertical and I think I like 
the vertical way a little bit better. Again, the sticker's still on. <laughs> and then this marble slab, I actually was gonna use it as a coaster, but then I decided to elevate the picture frame a little bit and I used this ledge as a perfect spot for some of my crystals. And then this plant, I actually got it home since uh, a while ago, <laughs> but um, I just thought it looked so great in this section right here. It was beside my bed, so I moved it over. And then this I did change up a tiny little bit. I brought my perfumes up to the top. This is the vase that I still have to find flowers for. I added this fake plant. I cut it so that this goes here and then I also added one here, even though it looks attached. It's really not, I'm really proud of that though. <laughs> and then over here what I did was I took this little container that I had from before and I put my like purse essentials. So a lip balm, my AirPods and my uh, card holder and that's all I need. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. So don't forget to follow me on my Instagram where I will be styling these pieces and with some products as well. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Bye.